In the coming weeks and months, the air is gonna get a little bit of a chill and you'll start getting invites to holiday parties. Your mother will start nagging you about your love life. It's almost cuffing season. Say what? Who cuffing you season? You gonna bring anybody to the Christmas party this year? Well, of course, climate change is playing actually a sneaky role in your ability to find love. Michael K is the head of global communications at the dating site OkCupid. Okay We're so glad you're with us to talk about this, Michael. First, let's tell everyone what exactly cuffing season is and what it means to be cuffed. Is that how you use it? Yeah, so first, I'm so grateful to be here. Cuffing season is a period during the year where people are looking for someone to be in a committed relationship with. So basically, it's when they are tired of dating around or simply hooking up, which is what we tend to see during the summer months or leading into the summer months. So let's get into your dating life for a second. No, I'm totally <laughs> kidding. Uh, can we break down the temperature trends? Is there a trend? Is it because we have all these holidays coming up or is it actually kind of weather related? Yeah, so one interesting thing that we've been seeing this year was around one of the hottest days this summer, which according to meteorologists was Wednesday, July 20th. And besides causing many of us like me to break a sweat, I'm a winter baby, it had our dating apps heating up as well. So we actually experienced a boom of activity, specifically increased logins that day on OkCupid, meaning people were on their app more than they were before. And especially in the states with the highest temperatures, so Colorado, Florida, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas, logins were higher that day compared to both the day prior and even higher compared to the Wednesday prior. So same day, wonder, week prior. I wonder, cause they're stuck inside. It's so hot outside and they're just on their phone. Well, here's my a little bit of confusion then, Michael. If everyone was on it when it was really hot, why are we now then considered going into cuffing season? Or was that just a hookup and now people <laughs> want to have like, you know, in the cooler months they want to have more than just a hookup? Yeah, well, think about what we've just been through for the past couple of years. You know, singles have been outside. Uh, singles have been cooped up for so long that they really want to get outside. So what we're seeing is that 80% of our Gen Z and millennial daters on our app um, really want healthier, more active date ideas outside, whether that's hikes in Runyon Canyon, biking in the Midwest, walks in Central Park. Um, so people want to get out and the weather is perfect for that right now. I don't know if you can get into how the conversations go on the app. I don't know what the privacy settings are. We did a story yesterday that talked about how rising temperatures actually makes people more cranky. Are you able to tell whether relationships when it's They need warm to be out? loved. They can tell they're cranky. They're like, someone love me, please. <laughs> I just didn't I know, you know, see. go ahead. Yeah, so I can't see if they're cranky, but to be honest, for all our daters out there, do you really want us seeing your messages? Probably not. Probably not. Um, so can't tell if they are cranky or not, but if they're anything like me, um, they're okay as long as they're by a beach or a pool during these hotter days. Doesn't matter who Jordan's trying to get the tea here, get I'm some gossip. I'm just about curious about it. <laughs> All right, so let's bring in the climate change aspect. Do you think that we will see cuffing season change with these warming temperatures that we're seeing with climate change? Yeah, absolutely. What we're seeing is that cuffing season is getting earlier and earlier every single year. So this really used to happen around early December when people started thinking about the holiday seasons. But OkCupid's okay data experts predict that Sunday, November 6th this year will actually be the official kickoff to <laughs> cuffing season. Oh and we're goodness. expecting to see the biggest spikes in matching happening between Halloween and Thanksgiving with roughly 25% jumps in matches at the highest point. So September, October is when you really want to get your dating app profile into the best shape possible. Right, get that profile. And make sure that your cuffs money. have like some fur as we get into the oh, colder geez. season opposed to in oh, the my summer. Goodness. So <laughs> can we look at trends? Because you talk about the cuffing season, people want that longer relationship over the holidays or the winter time frame. Um, are you seeing a trend in terms of people staying in relationships? or they're kind of doing more of Just these, for the season. Are they doing these flings? <laughs> Can, is there any data out there that suggests that? Yeah, so it's kind of seasonal. Um, again, leading into, like around springtime leading into summer is when we see people hooking up more, looking for either 
dinner, drinks, whatever it is. And then as we head into fall, that's when we start to see more longer term relationships. We also see a very similar bump actually in the very, very beginning of January, specifically the first Sunday Mm. of January. After New Year's Eve, everyone starts to do two things. They're getting their gym memberships again and they're dating apps. That Interesting. Way, that way you have Valentine's Day right around the corner. That's true. You there's, always, there's always something. Michael you know? K., head of global communications at OKCupid. Thank, thank you for joining us today and humoring us as well with our questions. I met my husband in March. When, what, what month did you meet uh, your wife? September. Well, we, we got together in September. Mm. We have known each other before that. Did you use, can I ask, did you use a dating app? Yeah. And it works? A, yeah, I met my husband Great. on a dating app. you didn't app. want to go back on the app. You were good. No, he's that good. Well, that's great. He met my husband, though. I know he is. Everyone loves Omar. Why don't you say it? Um, anyway, we could continue this conversation for so much longer, but get ready. Get that profile pick up. It's right around the corner.